Okay, hello everyone. A tutorial for you today on how to draw a character, any character. I'm not going to speed any parts up or skip anything. Just jumping right in here. The first thing you're going to do, let me zoom in for you, is draw the side of its face. That's what I've done here. Now, let me pull out another piece of paper. Uh, this part, oh, I've smudged it, it's okay. The, you can draw this part a lot of different ways. Like I could have drawn it like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, right? So the things, if you're following along, you can draw any sort of way. So first step, draw the side of its face, focus camera, draw the side of its face, and then uh, draw the the same this is it the left well stage left really it's 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 right the left side of its face here's the left side of its nose here's an eye here's another eye and it can have multiple eyes here's the right side of its face here's part of an ear now what you need to do is kind of let go of what you think you know about ears eyes noses actually faces in general you can kind of mr potato head it if you want here's more of the left side of the face a lot of the tutorials out there i noticed were a little bit discouraging to me because uh they have you start like this here's my other piece of paper again and then there's like a you, they have you have, use a pencil, right? And then you go like this, you draw like a oval, and then there's like parts like this and this, and then you're like drawing eyes and ears, and right? And then there's like a neck, and every... <sighs> you get the horns. And then everyone's face looks the same. I'm smudging more. That's all right. Basically with, with this method, I'm, for example, I'm, I think I'm gonna add another nose here with this and some more eyes. With this method, we get different results for everybody, which is one of the things I like about art. One of the things that turns me off the most about art is when, when it all looks the same, I guess, right? I mean, in a way, humans are very good at associating things and noticing e even the most diverse and different things. We're, we're good at pointing out what, what about them makes, you know, makes them look the same. Like noticing, for example, when clouds look like literally anything. I mean, clouds are clouds. They're, they're not ducks or dump trucks, but we like pointing out when they look like other things. So we're, we, we like categorizing things, you know, saying like this, that's, this is this type of art, or this other kind of art, or this or that, but still it doesn't mean we all need to draw our characters and faces the same way. I don't think, anyways. So here you can see I've been adding, over on the right side, um, some stuff. Ears, eyes, noses, folds of skin. Here is going to be a shoulder, right? That's what this is. Shoulder. Shoulder. This is an eyebrow I'm going to add here. Another eyebrow, because that's where these go perfectly, perfect. Here's a mouth. That's the top lip. Here's the, uh, what's this thing called? The philtrum? The little thing where, mm -hmm, between the nose and the top lip. And this guy does have an earring. Nice, that's what's going on right there. And then... There's the other shoulder. Hmm. Some hair action. There might be some other stuff in the hair uh, besides hair. Like for example, whatever this thing is. I don't know if this is some sort of body mod or maybe something raining down from the heavens attacking it. Maybe this is just the hair. Maybe he's got a bed head. Sometimes you don't you don't have to know what you're drawing. 
sometimes you'll figure it out later. Sometimes you'll never figure it out. Like you'll just be looking at part of your drawing. You're like, I don't know what that is exactly, but just draw shapes that you think are kind of interesting. Like right now, I just kind of like, I think these sharp parts look cool next to this kind of wavy stuff. A little bit of contrast there, right? Mm-hmm, exactly. And he's got a very sharp chin. It's a kind of a Timothy Chalamet type of chin there. This is another bigger earlobe. And he's going to have another bigger earring. Perfect. And down here is another earlobe with another earring. Now, I'm not quite sure how you'll take this because a lot of my videos are very sped up. So it might look like I'm drawing slow or compared to your own drawing, if you're drawing it, it might look like I'm drawing fast because I, I don't know, I might be drawing fast compared to you. The point is don't compare me either when I'm sped up or my real time speed, draw your own speed. You know, draw the lines carefully, or you can draw them quick and sloppily. It's cool either way. Hmm. And when if you come to this point, like where I am right now, and you're like, uh, what to add next? You can, you could just add something, or like me, I'm going to take a little sip of water, think about it, look at it. Hmm. Delicious. I'm just going to kind of go like this, add some little things hanging down. I don't know if it's part of his clothes or part of his skin. Some people wear clothes that are as tight as their skin or they've worn it for long enough that it becomes part of their skin. Personally, I like clothes that are a little baggier because I'm uncomfortable about my body. You know, so I like a little bit of space in between. Okay. Over here, we're going to add an arm. I think it's time for a limb, right? Uh, here he is. Amazing. But... That's not all. He's got another arm over here, like this. I haven't started how to draw biceps, and if you haven't either, that's okay. He's got one, two, three, four biceps. What's over here? A quad? A delt? Uh, I don't know. Here's an elbow. Here's like the inside of the elbow. But very tiny hands with lots of fingers. And then here's another arm. This one's going to be pointing at something. And the fingers are like, yeah. Then here's like his ribs and stuff. Those are his ribs. Now, uh, feel free to use pencil, but the only reason I'm using pen is that if I use pencil, sometimes I start second guessing my myself, myself and erasing stuff. And then once you start erasing, sometimes whew, there's just, you, you, you might be erasing more than you actually start drawing, which is a bad place to get into sometimes. Just believe in yourself, draw the picture, okay? It's probably not as big of a deal as you think it is. But if you want to erase stuff, you can. Also, another good medium you can try to use is like charcoal. You can create cool like gradients and stuff. Or colored pencils are fun. Watercolors maybe. If you're ever feeling stuck and you don't know what to do, maybe just try a new type of a new medium that you haven't done before. For example, I, ha I, mean, I have done it before, but I'm thinking about maybe 
water, it is time for me to do watercolor again soon. I haven't done that in so long. I think what's going on here is just like a fancy hairstyle. I mean, it doesn't really look like he's got much hair, some of this, but it doesn't have to make sense to you, okay? Maybe it's some weird futuristic thing. If someone from the past saw a lot of what we've got going on these days, it just, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't register. I mean, I've heard, heard stories of like, like natives from the woods that have had no exposure to modern society or technology. They've been brought like st straight to like the middle of New York City or something, right? All they've known is like, wooden spears and huts in the in the jungle and and the people record their reactions waiting for some crazy reaction the person like freaking out or something but the person just like they ask the person what do you see and and the person just says i see birds and sunshine and at first it seems like really profound but it's just like what do you want them to say? Do you want them to say they see skyscrapers? They don't know what that is. But uh, it is also profound. I wonder if we ever see stuff that we don't, our mind, we don't mention or we don't, our mind doesn't register. Or we don't know how to comprehend just because we don't know what it is. That might be what's going on with this hairstyle, okay? You didn't even know it was a hairstyle until I told you that. You still don't know. The problem, the main problem with this guy so far, he's got three arms on the left, which are his right arms, and no left arms. And we've got some smudges down here too, but it's okay. Okay, we're going to have one of his other arms come over here and okay what is going to be it's gonna, here's some fingers this hand is going to have longer fingers much longer yep and right here is where he's holding his phone because I want it to be relatable to to us. Or maybe this is more of a phablet or... Actually, I don't, this could be phone. A phone. He could be a small person. This is like a regular sized phone. Um, I think the cameras and stuff, if it's like an iPhone, the, there's like cameras right here, right? But maybe there's like more. If this is in the future, there's like more cameras. They keep going all the way down. Nice. So he's got his... He's got his phone and he's looking kind of... I just realized he's looking kind of like side-eyed. It's something like he's worried and he has no eyelashes really. I wanted to keep drawing on his eyes a little bit, but they're kind of minimalist. I feel like it, I kind of want to just leave it how it is. It's one of those things if you add, I feel like if I add too much, it's going to get worse. You know what I mean? And it's not the worst thing in the world if that happens. You can just see most of you probably aren't recording your drawings like I am. No one will ever know that it used to look better if you make something worse. So just, it's just a secret between you and yourself if that happens. And you can just tell everyone this is the best it's ever been in its current state. Plus you're your own worst critic most of the time. I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard that before. I've said that before. Okay. This is his, this is his utility arm. Well, see, in the future, your different arms have different purposes, like a one strong buff arm for like punching stuff or something. I don't know, maybe you should have longer fingers. I mean, but then this arm is like more nimble for doing stuff. 
Oh yeah. But he's got like a few of them. This arm down here. going to be holding I'm not sure yet I was thinking a piece of toast but I don't know if they have toast in the future I'm going to leave that hand alone for a second while I'm thinking about what it could be holding I'm going to draw over here some I'm not really sure what this is if it's part of him or his clothes or the background. Maybe as I add to it, the drawing will explain it to me. Like I draw something here and slowly it starts to make more sense, right? Sometimes that happens. You don't have to know before you keep drawing. By the way, if you want an incredible, incredible pen, grab your Peter pen. I'm advertising this. This is a pen made by me in gold spot and narwhal pens. And uh, they come in medium, fine, stub nibs. So I think there's still a few left. They're numbered, limited edition. They come with numbered out, out of a thousand. So that's what I'm using right here to do this drawing. And as you can see, it's working pretty good. It's not making me a better artist. So I have to get back at that Peter guy who told me that it, using it makes you a, the best artist ever. It has made me. Um, stronger, more intelligent, more thoughtful, kinder. It's made me a better person, just not a better artist. So maybe I just want you all to know that. It is, it is a nice pen though. Grab you one. I think this is over here is going to become some kind of like wing that he has on his back. Like dragon wings, but futuristic. I don't know, it looks kind of torturous, disgusting, dripping. Like, I don't know if it's a a wing that he can actually use, or if it's just for, like it's just for looks. Or maybe he got it from like nuclear radiation or something. Maybe it's something that evolved over thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Maybe humans just have these weird wings now. But it must be useful in that case. Or at least must have been at some point. But yes, I'm only going to draw one wing though because the only thing more annoying than drawing a wing is drawing two wings. So everyone's just gonna have to imagine the other wing. Probably the worst, the biggest downside to having wings. And the reason why I'm glad we don't is that they just, I feel like they'd be easy to get broken. I mean, we bring, we break our uh, little extremities all the time, it's like stubbing toes, twisting arms, you know, like breaking legs. Can you imagine having wings? I feel like it'd be a huge problem. There'd be a whole new branch of medicine. It'd be wing doctors, probably. I don't know, maybe they'd, the wing doctor would be part of like 
you know, like ortho orthopedics or something. Because, I mean, we don't have arm doctors, really, do we? They're kind of... Maybe they'd just be another limb. I'm not sure. Okay. And then this is kind of... I, s I suddenly saw this. This is kind of looking like to me that he kind of has like some weird little um, arm like tentacle thing growing over here. Yeah. Yeah, a weird arm. That's what it kind of looks like he's looking at this arm like, I don't know about that. I shouldn't have gotten that one installed. Hmm. I still don't know about this other hand. I think this over here looks like some kind of communication device he has installed on his side of his head. Kind of, I mean, obviously in the future you'd expect, I don't even know when I decided that this was the future, but I think it was when I was talking about his his hair that looks so futuristic, but obviously you just expect this, it'd be just, it, it would be, the, <laughs> I can't talk that it would be some kind of little mechanistic like techno chip installed in his brain, but maybe this is just like a visualization of the the radio signals that are, yeah, that's what it is. It's just like a, this is just a representation of what's going on. See, so, yeah, so I'm gonna draw like deep, beep, boop, like beep it goes and then boop it goes both ways like he doesn't really even need a phone at that point does he maybe this is like a a retro or his version of a retro gaming console how some people still have like Nintendo 64s and stuff if he's hooked in like this, if he's jacked in straight into the network. Yeah. So you never really thought that um, this is what it would look like for the data to come in and out of your head, but this is what it looks like. If you had, if your eyes could see that, that chunk of the electromagnetic spectrum, this is what you would see. Yep, these are them. Data bytes, giga waves. Maybe his his uh, hair kind of doubles as a signal amplifier. Yeah, this is the signal being amplified right here. Didn't really mean to do that, but it's okay. Anything you do that you didn't mean to do it can just turn into something that was so cool you couldn't have planned it on purpose. Oh, 
Got some swoops and swirls up here. I'm gonna be honest. This is going back to my uh, olden days, but I really want him to be holding a weapon, which I feel like I'm gonna add like a, it's gonna be like a, a, a pole ax or something. I'm just not overthinking it, you know? Maybe his hand looks really weird, because his thumb, he has another thumb that's going around the other side. There we go. You know? Multiple thumbs. Don't worry, this isn't the main part of the pole axe. some kind of halberd thing. Sick. This is like the sharp, the honed part of the blade right here. If I thought ahead a little bit more, I would have like left a spot to add like a little glint here, you know, like. Like this is like the little glint. Like to show how sharp it is, you know what I'm saying? And then the other end of the pole axe is uh, way over here. There's like, I don't know what's going on here, but something. And then, you know, it is a little weird that the pole axe isn't in one of his strong arms, but even these, it's a nimble arm, so he can swing it fast and accurately. And then, and then, uh, 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 uh. I'm not sure what this is exactly, what's going on here. I'm just kind of adding some, some segments here. I think there's going to be like a, like a ball here. Yeah. Like a ball. And then like, some energy here. So you can like zap people with this. Don't mess with him. Like, gives the energy field a little bit of oomph, some dots in there. Now, I'm, I am doing this kind of like fast. 
feel like if I was doing this and I wasn't doing it live, I might slow down a little bit more and spend several hours doing it, but I didn't want to make this video several hours long, but you're still getting the main idea, I think, I hope. It's just like some of these dots were actually little lines, you know, and there's other areas where you can see that I've been a little sloppy, but I don't regret it. It's still a cool, a fun drawing and I'm enjoying it. That's the main part, okay? Okay, and then the rest of his body comes down here. kind of legs do we want to give him? Well, we should probably give him some pants for modesty's sake. He has actually two or three elbows. Maybe, I mean, he could have a skirt or maybe just like a very broad, a wide belt. Or he could just have like a, like a, he could just be like a slug. I feel like this is more the direction that we're going in with humanity. And this is this drawing, you know, well, all of art is obviously a, a, a commentary. So, yeah. zoom out a little bit, Let's see what we're working with here. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna add another, um, I think we can, there's room and a line already here for an, one more arm. Which is holding a big gulp. That's what these fingers evolved to be so long for. holding bigger and bigger cups. It's a honker. It's a 740 four ounces. Nice. There we go. But I still would have messed with him. I think I'll add another hand here too. Actually, it's more like a vestigial hand. Hmm. Let me know what you would have added, and uh, if you draw your own character based on this advertisement. I mean, well, it is an advertisement. <laughs> based on this advice and this video, um, let me know how yours goes and tag me. He looks, he looks equal parts intimidating and also pitiful and kind of sad and overcome by him, his own body in a way. It looks uncomfortable to be honest. Maybe a little top heavy. <laughs> All right, see ya, bye.